In the Kata Seipai, we come across this move followed by this. And with the best will in the world, the last thing I want to be doing is blocking a punch that comes into the middle with, with this. It just doesn't, doesn't seem like a reasonable thing to do. So instead, we need to take a, a much more functional approach to what this move does. Let's take it that the, uh, the initiation of the combat has already happened, the move doesn't occur at the start of the catcher, it's a little way in. So we're going to take it that we're already into this kind of situation. And at this point, I'm just going to reach up here, trap the hands like that, and turn them over like that. And that's going to give me a little bit of a hold so that I can then go to work on the rest of the catcher. So what's happening? I'm reaching up, putting the hands behind the head, and turning them over so that the gap that was created becomes minimised. One more time so that I can see, we're in here, in here, whatever we're doing, we're scrapping it out, close that down and turn over, break the balance, maybe get a bit of a, a blood um, a closure uh, and, and then maybe I'm in a better position to move on from there.